so we're about midway through the trip. Today is 17th day underway. We have traveled about 1,700 and so miles uh, to get to this point. We have about 1,300 more miles to do on a zigzag in the next 12 and a half days, and then about 400 miles to get back to Bermuda. Yeah, and things are going really well in lab. We've done 62 new sun toes, and about every third or fourth toe we do a CTD, so we lower the package to get the water column structure. And we've also done some subsurface toes, so about five of these subsurface toes, and in the next week we'll do quite a few more. We've collected over 42,000 pieces of plastic. We've collected 35 pieces of tar that we've saved for GC analysis back at Hui. And, uh, and even two fish. And two fish. <laughs> so while we've been averaging 100 or 200 pieces of plastic per tow, last Monday we entered this region at about 31 degrees north, 41 degrees west, with a lot more plastic in it. We had both our nets out in the water on the starboard and the port side, and all of a sudden we saw lots of plastic drifting by. Another net. Round two. One of our nets recovered 23,000 pieces of plastic. That's in a half hour tow, which translates to about 26 million pieces of plastic per square kilometer. It was just like this huge windrow after windrow of just chunks. Like we just got a five gallon bucket. I'll grab the net, okay? Hey, let me grab the bucket. You can see, you know, this plastic starting to weather, starting to crack. This is due to just like wave action, UV radiation. You know, this bucket is going to end up being being little fragments, that is, like the ones that is caught. Yeah. These fish are trigger fish and they don't normally live in the middle of the ocean. So the bucket and associated line that they were living with that was part of their ecosystem drifted from somewhere that was close to land, some subtropical, likely a reef ecosystem, and they followed it all the way out here. And I believe that, check out that, that is the stomach. Yeah, I three times. Awesome, awesome. So I'd say this fish was eating at least 30 pieces of plastic. They're going to go to Bergen, Norway for a persistent organic pollutant analysis. And so what they're going to look at is the bioaccumulation in the fish, in the fish's, specifically in the fish's liver and the fish's muscle. And then we're also going to look at these plastic pieces this is just from the starboard side so far, the biggest stuff I picked out. This looks like the top of a water bottle or something. I know Giora doesn't like garbage patch as a term, but uh, come on. Okay. This isn't a garbage patch. The amount of plastic pieces, concentration, trumps everything, every other plastic tow that SEA has done in the last 22 years in the Atlantic. That's a historic day. It's a historic day, unfortunately.